Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to take over an existing hardwire system in a commercial setting with the Qualsys IQ Hardwire 16F large enclosure. These are the different devices we're going to be using today to take over the 30 zones. Inside the accessory box, you're going to have your installation manual, which is very important that you follow step by step. A little bag of goodies that includes your battery connectors, your wire plugs, and 16 4.7K resistors. Also, you're going to have your battery mounts. These ones that come in the box are for a 7 amp hour battery. The ones that come mounted in the panel are for a 5 amp hour battery. The difference is these 7 amp hour ones are a little longer and skinnier. Lastly, you're going to have your power supply or your transformer to power up and hook into the device. Inside the door of the Hardwire 16 is the wiring diagram. Down below, it's going to show you how you hook up power for your power supply, the batteries. Then if we go around it, it shows the siren connection. So you can turn on the wireless siren relay, how you would connect your motions into a zone and connect them over here for the power into the aux and ground out. Also, it shows you how to wire up a normally closed loop with the resistor in line or normally open with the resistor going across. Um, for the smokes, You'd wire those up in the dedicated zone 16 for two wire smokes. And the resistor is going to go in your last smoke across that zone. And it shows you right here that we support models of system sensor smokes 2W-B, 2WT-B, and 2WTA-B. Over here on the right side of the panel, we have the zone list. You'll notice it goes from 1 to 16, 16 being dedicated for the two wire smokes. In our situation here, we have a second Hardwire 16 we're putting inside the enclosure. So we recommend drawing a line down the middle. And on the right side, put a one for the first Hardwire 16 and describing those zones, and then a two for the second Hardwire 16. So you can describe those zones. Before we wire up the Hardwire 16, we wanna show you a couple features. One, we have rails inside this enclosure that are made to zip tie your wires to and make it look very clean. And you'll see that once we wire it up. There's also knockouts for behind the panel or on the side to run your wires through. Up top here, this is your tamper. It's gonna to be to tamper in the panel and to, to monitor the door. And then also from the top coming down, this is where your antenna is gonna run. We're gonna be using a small enclosure and putting it inside here. And that's gonna get us up to, to cover those 30 zones. The next step is to take the Hardwire 16 out of the small enclosure and install it in the large enclosure. Now we're going to mount the can and make sure to use a mounting screw on the breakaway wall tamper right here in the middle. To insert the antenna, place it through the top of the can into the antenna terminal and tighten it down. To run the wires to the back, we need to pop these out. We'll also pop this one out. Now we will mount the battery in using the proper bracket for the five amp hour battery. Okay, after mounting the battery, we'll wire it up, hooking the black wire to the negative and the red wire to the positive. Now we will connect the battery wires to the hardwire 16. For the battery terminals, the black negative goes on the left and the positive red goes on the right. For the transformer, the dotted wire is the positive and that'll go on the left hand side up here. And then the solid white wire is the negative. Next, we're going to wire up the zones. Place a piece of wire for the tamper. And screw it down tight. So we've mounted the hardwire 16 large enclosure. We broke away the knockouts and ran the wires up vertically along these rails and used zip ties to make them look really clean. You'll notice the vertical terminals are made for the zones and these horizontal ones 
are for your power and the sirens. We also connected in the batteries. These are five amp hour batteries in the brackets. And then we also, on top, put in the antennas. And lastly, we wired in the tamper on the second Hardwire 16. The first one's tamper is wired into the door. The next step we have to do is to power this up. And when we do that, we're gonna master reset both of these just in case. To do that, I leave my batteries disconnected just so there's no power. And I hold the memory reset button down as I plug in the transformers. I count to three. And you'll notice the LEDs light up. And now you know the memory reset's complete. Now that we've defaulted the translator, we're going to power it down and then power it up properly. To do so, you'll first connect the batteries. And you connect these first so you don't get a low battery reading for possibly the first 24 hours. And then you plug in the transformers and these will power up. Now we will explain resistor modes. The default mode is for 4.7K resistors and it's UL listed to support the two wire smokes. But if you're not using the 4.7K resistors and maybe the existing ones, you can go to a mode that's one to 10K resistors. To switch between the resistor modes, unplug the battery and the transformer and then hold down the EOL learn button as you power back on the panel and you'll wait eight seconds. After eight seconds, these LEDs are gonna light up and then you'll notice this processor light is going to start blinking rapidly. And now you've switched modes from 4.7 to the one to 10K. The next step is to pair the Hardwire 16 with the panel. This step is required and allows the IQ panel to control the wireless siren relay. Reset the two wire smoke detectors after a fire event and supervise the battery. AC power status, aux power out and tamper. To proceed, press and hold the EOL learn for one to two seconds. All zone LEDs flash and then turn off. The EOL Calo LED will turn on. This indicates the module is now in auto learn mode. Now you know you're, you're able to tamper in the device. On the panel, you need to go over to the panel, go into advanced settings, installation, devices, security sensors, auto learn sensor. To learn in the hardwired 16, you're gonna use this tamper switch, which is wired up to the door. Simply close the door and reopen it. And now the tamper is learned into the panel. So we're here at the panel and we've auto learned in the Hardwire 16, the first one. And you'll notice by looking at the DL code, it ends in a zero. And that DL code is going to match the Hardwire 16. What you need to do is change the, door, the sensor type to Hardwire Translator. And this is required so you can control the siren relay. And then I'll just hit add new. The additional zones, you'll notice like zone one, zone two, will end in the one, two, three, and so on. To learn in the second hardwire 16, simply remove one leg of the tamper wire and then reinsert it. And now this device, they'll be able to communicate with each other and it'll allow the panel to, to work with the siren relay and also the two wire smoke relay to reset the smokes. Step three is pairing individual zones or sensors. Once again, you wanna be in EOL learn mode. So I'm gonna hold this down for two seconds. And the EOL Cal light lights up. Once the hardwire 16 is in learn mode, you'll come to the panel, go into settings, advanced settings, enter in your code, installation, devices, security sensors, and auto learn. And now as zones get tripped, you'll notice some light up. So if there's a motion or a door that gets open, it'll learn in. And if you're in auto learn mode, the IQ panel will chime, indicating it has found a new sensor. Touch OK to proceed. Customize the sensor type and settings as desired. Repeat for each zone. Also, one nice thing about this system is that if the wires are not pre-labeled, once you wire them up, if you go trip a door, the LED will light up indicating what zone that is. Now that all zones are set up, the last step is to exit auto learn mode. To do so, just hold the EOL learn button down for one to two seconds, and you'll notice the EOL Cal LED turns off. 
I'll do it on this one also. And now the only zones that are lit up are the ones that have been tripped or are open right now. As a conclusion, I'd like to review some of the best practices. First, I always recommend using the installation manual, I'm just going step by step. Also, it's recommended to clear the memory when installing the device for the first time. This is because when it's at the factory, it gets put on a test jig and the memory doesn't always get cleared out when they remove it. Another best practice is when learning in two wire smokes, you gotta make sure you use either a can of smoke or your screwdriver and hold down the test button to learn it in. If you just try to tamper it in, you're gonna have tamper issues. Also, make sure you press the EOL Learn button to turn off the EOL Cal light for normal operation. We also recommend that you wire in the tamper with a shunt. We want to thank you for going over this training with us. We hope this helps. And if you have any feedback, please reach out to us at techsupport at Thank you.